claim Cadu expected to be fired soon 128 Adam Schefter says Giants head coach Ben McAdoo could be fired as early as Monday. 128,151 p.m. at Ben McAdoo's nearly two-year run as head coach of the New York Giants is coming to an end, and he could be fired in the 24 hours after Sunday's game against the Oakland Raiders. League sources told ESPN, general manager Jerry Reese's standing also is highly tenuous, according to sources, though any timing on his potential departure is more uncertain than McAdoo's. Tom Brady Sr wrote Archie Manning a beautiful message about his son Eli and what he has meant to the Giants and to the league, the elder Manning told ESPN's Ian O'Connor. The Giants have not had any talks with their upcoming key free agents amid uncertainty about the team's coaching staff and front office, sources told ESPN, firing McAdoo would come less than one week after the Giants benched starting quarterback Eli Manning, a move that now is being considered the final straw, according to sources, in what has become a very un-Giants-like. Giants owner John Mara is extremely fond of Manning, and he felt the situation highlighted his belief that McAdoo has lacked communication skills during his time as head coach, according to sources. Mara took responsibility for the sloppiness in which Manning was informed of the situation but was unhappy with how McAdoo presented the plan to the franchise's two-time Super Bowl MVP quarterback. Former Giants wide receiver Plaxico Burris was one of many of Manning's former teammates to express their disapproval of the benching on Twitter, saying, They did my boy dirty. Eli Manning's first road win. They did my boy dirty. Nuff said. Pick.twitter.cut who are NF709 E. Plaxico Burris at Plaxico Burris December 1, 2017 In addition to communication issues, the Giants' offense has lacked creativity, especially when the team has been trying to cover for weaknesses along the offensive line and injuries at wide receiver. The Giants also are concerned that rather than having relationships built up, they have been torn down this. Two cornerbacks, Dominique Rogers Gramarty and Yanaris Jenkins, were suspended, and another, Eli Apple, was questioned on a defense that also has lacked oversight. A hint of what could be coming in the next 24 hours was provided in the different statements Mara provided to the media 16 days apart. After the Giants fell 2-18 with a loss to the Thendwinless San Francisco 49ers, Mara and co-owner Steve Tisch released a statement on November. 13 that read, in part our plan is to do what we have always done, which is to not offer a running commentary on the It is our responsibility to determine the reasons for our the poor performance and at the end of the year, we will evaluate the 2017 in its entirety and make a determination on how we move forward. But after Manning was benched last week and Mara was asked to, if McAdoo was safe for the rest of the, the Giants owner responded there are no guarantees in life. When contacted by ESPN on Saturday night, a team official did not offer a confirmation or a denial to the latest development that McAdoo's firing could be imminent. After playing in Oakland on Sunday, the Giants finish with three of their final four games at home, all against NFC East Division foes Dallas on deck. 10. Philadelphia on December 17 and Washington on deck. 31. It's possible, in the words of one source, and growing more and more likely, that by the time the Giants play their next home game, they will have a different head coach. The Giants have not fired a coach during the since 1976, when they fired Bill Barger after an 07 start. This would be the second time the Giants have fired a head coach after twos. Ray Handley went 14-18 before the Giants him after the 1992 McAdoo is 13-15 heading into Sunday's game at Oakland. McAdoo's firing would be the first one of the four head coaches, but hardly the last. NFL executives believe there could be 8 to 10 head coaching changes this year, which would be a bit higher than the average in a given year.